Welcome ladies and gentlemen and everyone in between and off the spectrum. My name is Prince Katsune. It is White Claw Wednesday. At least I think it is. I figured out the release schedule for these videos <laughs> as of right now. As of recording, I have not released them yet, but pretty sure this one's going to be coming out on a Wednesday. So happy White Claw Wednesday. I have a White Claw that I just opened right next to me. If you're watching this video, obviously, if you like it, feel free to hit all the buttons and all that. But also throw a comment down below. Try to guess what flavor I'm drinking. I, I might do that every single time I do I do a Wednesday video. And it's not like I'm, I'm always drinking different flavors or whatever. I usually have like a, a couple that I like, but fuck it. Who, who cares? Based on the vibes, based on my vibes, based on the video, try to guess what flavors I like in the comments below. So quick recap, in case this is your first time watching one of these videos here. Technically, I have seen this episode before. I watched the first four episodes many years ago, specifically because of this one here, because I needed to know the meme behind this one. So this is not my first time watching it. It is my first time watching it in several years. It has been a long time, probably, God, I don't like thinking about how long ago it was. It doesn't feel like it was that long ago, but it was probably 2017, 2018 now that I think about it. So I know what happens here, but just like all the ep other episodes in the series so far, I don't remember every little detail of everything that happens. I've only watched it once. The other thing that that means though, is once we're through with this episode, everything else is gonna be completely new to me from there which i'm very excited about but for now let's just focus on the episode we have here so this will be an experience that much i already know that much is already clear even though i know what's going to happen to a degree it'll still be in a lot of ways as if i'm watching it for the first time an alchemist's anguish i think anguish is the proper term for uh what this episode is okay we're just gonna play it yeah, yeah, yeah. Alchemy is the science of understanding, blah, blah, blah. Reconstructing matter, law of equivalent exchange. Not all powerful. Human trans... trans... migration. What the fuck is it called? Human transfiguration. No, that's Harry Potter. Transmutation. There we go. I remembered before it showed up. Mutation. Yeah, I can't do that. It doesn't go well for you. Oh, I love that way the, 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 the shadow there. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I feel like that's pretty accurate. Iron Blood Alchemist, okay. Oh, another religious guy. Oh, he's the guy with the X head. I've seen this guy before. Wait, so he's not a state alchemist, but he has a state alchemist name? Is he a defector then? I'm sure we'll find out. My dude, you're literally Wario. Oh, he has cannons. Okay, that's kind of cool. Dude, he's just Naruto running through cannon fire. Are you kidding me? Uh oh. <laughs> he put him in a box. <laughs> you didn't close off the ground. What do you think he's going to do? Think he's just going to sit there in that box and let you just like do whatever you want? Oh, I guess he just blew through it. I thought he was going to go under. Oh, damn. I don't know what the hell that was, but it was sick. All right. Mr. Xbox face. Not someone to be tri trifled with. And an Xbox face. God, I hope so. This guy freaks me out. Is this the first car we've seen? Actually, hold on. Isn't this... Doesn't this take place in like... It takes place in like... 1912 or something? They had cars back then. This is like right around when cars were invented. So they must be new. But you know, like I said the first time that came up. It's interesting to see kind of an alternate universe where we have these kind of powers of alchemy. I assume that has allowed technology to progress at a different rate than it would have in the real world. So maybe they've had cars for a while. Maybe they're not super new like they would have been, you know, had this actually been 1912 or whatever this takes place. Did I say whatever this takes place? Whenever this takes place. Hmm. Oh. Yeah. Okay, he is a traitor. That's what I thought. I mean, it made sense. 
It's interesting though that the Fuhrer feels the need to get involved. Hmm. Another victim? Oh. Oh, okay, interesting. Wait. So he's going after... Oh, he's on the run, okay. I thought he was a victim of the other guy, and I thought that that meant that that guy was going after... That guy. Xbox face. He's gonna call him Mr. Xbox or Xbox face or whatever. Xbox face. I thought that that was the victim, and it was just kind of showing that he was going after corruption within the military. Maybe that's still true. But I wonder what this guy has to do with Ed. Or at least in this episode. Oh, damn. Wow, that's always a good sign. Yeah, no seriously. He knows that, though. He's giving them help. Like, he's sending them on these specific missions to help them find what they were looking for. うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。う
、役に立てるかどうかは分かりませんが、私の研究室を見てもらいましょう。Oh, that's cool. What the fuck? There's three heads. I think it's a good idea. I mean, it seems like nobody really knows anything about chimeras anyway. I don't know if that means they're new or they're just rare. But, you know, it seems like one of those types of.、Uh, I don't know why I unpaused there. It seems like one of those types of scientists that. or, or sciences. That are just like so new that like no one's really an expert, even the experts. <laughs> They're just picking up random books. That'll go well for you. Pretty, pretty good idea. You do just leave them. They're very interested. I don't know what that means. I don't like his interest in them. Even though you don't know necessarily what's going to happen if you haven't watched this before, he's still creepy as fuck. Oh, baby. She just doesn't understand. Oh, that's cute. She's trying to play with him. You can't do this to me, man. That's too fucking cute. Are we here to, here to play with the cute dog and daughter? Are we here to learn some stuff about Chimera? His name is Alexander? I actually totally forgot about that. That's a great name for a dog. Do you not like dogs? <laughs> What the hell is that? What is he doing? Dogs don't do that. Dogs don't stand on two legs. Maybe that's foreshadowing. <laughs> no, I don't think it stands on four legs. Or two legs. I think it stands on four. Oh my god, he's butters. He, he's got no hair except for that one strand of blonde hair. He's butters. Oh, then it's all back. Hmm. Oh, right. Yeah, he has a ticking clock. He has to come up with something by then. And he's starting to get desperate. You can see it in the seriousness of just like. How he responded to that question. Yeah, now they're going to explain it to us.、Mm. Only once a year? Despite being an expert on a specific field. Yeah, but he has nothing to show for it. And he's insecure about it. Is it worth it? Full metal alchemist. <laughs> Don't do that to me. Don't、Full、show them together、alchemist. like that. Full metal alchemist. Just the, just the image of them two together, just with full metal alchemist. <laughs> Ominous. I hope, by the way, That I'm not like spoiling what's about to happen for anyone. But if this is your first time ever watching this show, don't watch it with me. Watch it on your own first, then come watch me watch it. <laughs> I assume that most people that are watching this have already seen the show before and know exactly what's going to happen, you know, even like I kind of do. Thankfully, that'll only happen for this one episode, or at least this last episode and the ones that came before it. Won't be like that, that won't be the case. Afterwards, it <laughs> won't be the case anytime soon, you know, thereafter. She loves that dog. 
でもお父さん最近研究室ばっかりだからちょっと寂しいなうん、hmm. You won't be lonely for very long. <laughs> if, if, if you want to think of it that way. You only have one shoulder. <laughs> Is your metal shoulder stiff, stiff too? I wouldn't know. I don't have a metal shoulder. <laughs> This is going well already. Oh, okay. He actually is playing with them. <laughs> It's always good to see Ed have fun. Because he's always so uptight about everything all the time. I think that just is going to make this episode hit harder. At least for Ed, you know. Because usually Ed's too cool for school. But、uh, it's going to get him too, like emotionally. It's not going to not gonna sit well with him at all. One thing if, you know, only Al has a good relationship. Oh, this is fire. Sorry. <laughs> Just distracted by this shot. Again, the city is shaped like an alchemy circle and、uh, blah, 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 all the crisscrossing roads and stuff like that. It's just cool to be reminded of it. You know, that this is just a center. A center for,、uh, for alchemy, probably in the world in general, but at least in this region or whatever. I don't know much about the world outside of this area. I guess we haven't been told very much about that yet. No idea if it's big like our world, if it's more small. Who knows? We'll find out, I guess.、Mm. That's a good point. But that also might be why. Yeah. Maybe they're more important to take out. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. Facts. Could be any of these things. Yeah. Fair. All fair criticisms. I do respect this guy is、uh, at least self aware enough to know that, like, hey, There are plenty of legitimate reasons why people won't like us. You know? Like, you have to be able to understand things from people's perspective, especially if you work in anything like government or military, right? You have to understand that, like, if people criticize you, it might be fair. You know? It's just kind of something that comes with the job. Very tough job. I don't envy anybody who has to do any of this stuff. <laughs> you know? But you're open to criticism. You kind of have to be, you know? Because of how important the job is itself. Xbox man. Hmm. Where are he going? Where are he off to? Hmm. More backstory. It's always a little extra sad when the wife is the one that leaves. Like a wife leaving a child that they gave birth to is like crazy. Nothing creepy about that. I just, bro. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna play with you guys, all right. Gonna play God with you guys. Yeah, notice everything is completely fucking dark. The vibes are off. Something's different. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. I mean, I guess. Eduardo. 
Oh, it's so creepy. You don't... He doesn't know. Uh-oh. Mmm, good question. Uh-oh. <laughs> Where is your daughter? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think you already know the answer to that question. The fuck did he do with the mom, though? Yeah, he did. Uh, yeah. What is he getting up to over? Yeah, it's my daughter. I can do what I want. Uh, uh, fun, fun stuff. It's crazy that Ed's known her for literally two days and he already has more, you know, respect for her individuality as a human than her fucking father does. What a fucking psycho. Maybe calling him a psychopath is, uh, offensive to actual psychopaths. <laughs> yeah, fuck that, dude. I bet he will. I mean, she's still alive, I guess. Yeah, but they both consented to that. They both made the active choice to risk it all in order to bring their mother back, right? It didn't work. They figured out a way to survive, but every single choice that they made were their own choices, right? They were their own choices. <laughs> I don't think Nita chose this. Alexander definitely didn't fucking cho choose this. He's playing with his own life, man. Mm. Yeah. This is an interesting angle, though. I don't really remember this angle that they played it from. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's a kid, so, like, he's still not 100% aware. He, you know, but, like, Ugger is absolutely wrong. It's not the same thing at all. You know, these kids were trying to do something for something that they care about, something positive, right? They wanted to bring their mother back. This guy is just actively hurting his own daughter for no particular reason, for selfish gain, right? It's not the same thing at all. But, you know, he is, like, he is, like, appealing to Ed's guilt, right? So Ed still feels guilty about everything that has happened, and obviously he should. It's not, you know, not his fault that he feels like that. Right? That's a perfectly natural response to what he's been through, but, you know, there's a part of him that's insecure about the idea that he could be, like, Tucker, like this man, you know, on the inside, even though he's definitely not, you know, but sometimes it doesn't have to be true for something like this to really stick with you because he has this belief that this is all his fault, right? He can't help but blame himself and he can't help but kind of see himself like a monster, you know, but now he's face to face with a real monster and he can't help but see the similarities and that monster is straight up trying to tell him that things are the same you know but they're not and he is still trying to figure that out he deserves to die though let's be real <laughs> don't just do that to your daughter mm. 
dying. You know who doesn't deserve that pain, though? For having to watch their father die. Hopefully that's something they can figure out. If they do figure that out, like at the end of the show or something, and they fix this girl, that'd be so fucking cool. That would actually make me so happy. I highly doubt it, though. I just, narratively speaking, it doesn't seem like that's necessary. It seems like, you know, this is just a tragic thing that's going to remain tragic. That's so fucking sad. <laughs> Crazy to think that they'll just like see that and be like, oh, you transmutated your daughter into a dog? Yeah, no, brilliant stuff, man. <laughs> We're so proud of you. We'll keep funding this shit. He just wants to play, man. Just an innocent kid. You know, Ed and now relate to the loss of innocence of childhood. Yeah. There's a key difference, though, just the lack of humanity in between. Yeah. There are similarities, it's not 100% different. Yeah. I mean, this one's got to be a little bit different. Yeah. So now he's not just doing it for themselves, right? He's doing it for all the possible cases like this of people who, like, cannot get back to normal, whose lives have been inextricably fucked over by these feats of alchemy. So it's becoming about more than just their own personal struggle now. You know, they want to get their bodies back for all the people that can't get their bodies back for all the people who have lost too much to recover, you know, even at an hour, technically those people, because they're not going to be able to recover their mother. Right. But, you know, it's just further, further. How should I frame this? It's just further ramping up the tension and the importance of them getting their bodies back, right? That, that's really what it's all about, I guess, at the end of the day. Interesting, though, that these outside things are, like, still relevant. Their own personal tension surrounding their bodies and just what they have to gain personally is already enough, but finding ways to escalate the importance of that through other people's events, through the events of the story, is going to be an interesting thread. I hope they continue to follow. They know that. They couldn't put off, pull off the feet of God. They know their limitations. Yeah. <laughs> Because you're fucking insane. Imagine if you just like at that point it was like, oh, that's Nina. <laughs> they never said her name specifically. <laughs> There's like, oh, that's who that is. Oh, fuck yeah. Let's go, Xbox face. Get his ass. Unless this guy's evil. And he actually agrees with this. Ooh. That's not good. Okay, yeah. Yes. Alright. Deservedly so. I still wonder what the hell is that power? It kind of explodes them from within. You did kill a father in front of his daughter. That's still kind of not cool. No matter how much he deserved it. Yeah, 
Does he kill her too? Damn, it's fucked up. I didn't remember that part. I guess it's uh I guess it's mercy in a sense. It's interesting that he says poor souls plural, you know. As if the father is also a poor soul. Regardless of what he did, you know, it's the factors that made him that pushed into that decision that make him unfortunate, right? Maybe he was a good person underneath all that stuff. We don't really get to know, because he's already gone. It's a good sentiment though. I think this time I'm gonna pause and talk about my thoughts before I get to the next section. Um, but yeah, that's uh fun. What a fun episode. What a fun romp this show is. I thought it was really interesting that like, you know, at least when I watched these episodes the first time, that it's kind of like a more lighthearted episode than a, like an ultra dark episode, than another more lighthearted episode with an ultra dark episode following it. I don't think that that's going to maintain throughout the whole course of the show, but I mean, if they can consistently pull off this level of like darkness and depth, then then I will fully understand why people hold this show in such high regard. Speaking of that, though, now that we're through all these sections of episodes, now that we're through all these episodes that I've seen before, it's all uphill from here. We're all going to keep... We're going to keep going, keep going, keep going. I'm very excited to get to the stuff that's completely new to me, completely fresh. That being said, we're at it for the end of this video. I think I said pretty much all of my thoughts in re regards to what happened, so let's just kind of Watch the preview real quick. I don't remember anything about the preview here. Mm. Okay, so it continues. Oh, his name's Scar, okay. Or is that his name? I mean, it looks like that's his name. <laughs> I don't think they called him that yet. What are you doing, Ed? Okay, interesting. Decision brought on by desperation. Okay. I didn't realize it was going to kind of continue, at least with that storyline, because it hasn't really brought storylines from multiple episodes together yet. So it's nice to see that they're going to continue with you know, that, them coming to terms with this stuff. It would feel very weird if they just went to the next episode and it was lighthearted again, like I was saying before. <laughs> if it was just suddenly like, okay, just, you know, a nice little fun romp again of them, like, beating the villain of the week or whatever. Uh, but yeah, I hopefully this means that we're going to start going into, like, the deeper, more long-term story art type stuff here because I'm really excited about that. Um, but yeah, I think I've said everything that I wanted to say about how messed up this is. At some point, you can't just say over and over again, oh, it's so messed up, so messed up, so messed up. We all know. There's nothing else that needs to be said. There's nothing that you can really say about that. But there are a few things that I can say about some other things, like what to do at the end of the video. If you've made it this far, please hit all the buttons. <laughs> All right, not exactly my best transition, but you know, it is a transition. Hit all the YouTube buttons. I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you for making it this far if you did. Please hit the like button, the subscribe button as well. Like I said at the beginning, please comment your thoughts. I want to hear what you guys are thinking. I want to hear if there's something that I've accidentally like grasped upon that makes me sound really smart and cool, <laughs> you know, in terms of like accidentally predicting the future or whatever. Uh, but yeah, no, I really appreciate it. If you have made it this far, if you continue to watch, I will continue to be making this essentially. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'll talk to you next time. Good night, sweet princedom.